Hi and welcome to Visit Fell Coast. We're in Blackpool Town Centre. It's ages since I came for a walk around Blackpool. So I'm expecting to see lots of different things changed. So currently we are on Bankay Street meets Church Street. We're going that away. We're going for a walk around our normal route and we're going to go and see what we can see, see, see. The sun's coming out. I'm going to be far too warm. I'm puthering already. So let's go see what we can find. Don't forget to subscribe and do all the signy up stuff as well. Look at that sunshine. It's lovely. It's lovely. And we're going to head around the town. We're going to end up back at the prom. So we're going to go and see what's happening with the Christmas Christmas lights that are currently going up at the moment. So Christmas in Blackpool begins at the end of this week. It's Friday the 18th of November when it begins. And Blackpool is getting mightily ready for the Christmas season. There's Christmas lights all over the place. Irons Hill is trimmed up and there's lights, lights in the town centre. So you can see them on Church Street. They're all over Victoria Street as well. So it's all looking, it's all looking shiny and tickety boo. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll take you around this corner and we'll go and have a look at Victoria Street and the and the hangs out because it really does look lovely it's amazing what a difference icicles make they're not even turned on and they look pretty look at that sun shining when i came out this morning i thought it felt i stuck my nose out of the back door and i thought it felt really quite cool i'd only been outside five seconds and i realized it's actually quite quite warm Let's have a quick look down here and see see what's happening at Christmas in Victoria Street. These look lovely when they're lit up. The, the lights that were up last year and what a difference they make. Lovely bright sunshine. There you go. Lots of icicles. Don't they look nice? Don't they look nice? There's a separate separate video about the big announcement at the Hound Hill and what's happening at the Hound Hill. So you need to watch that one separately. Christmas has arrived at the Hound Hill Shopping Centre. Look at the pretty lights, aren't they lovely? I sort, of, I sort of all went all of a smile when I walked in. We've got all the decorations up and there's also a new Skechers store arrived at Hound Hill Shopping Centre as well, which you can just see down there it's brand new it's got all kinds of clothes shoes lifestyle etc so it's a very good shop i've had a look around i haven't bought anything yet but i'm no doubt I'll be going back in at some point while we're on the subject of the hounds hill what did you think to this week's big reveal that debenhams is going to be occupied by the fraser's group i've got to say we were we were quite excited about that one. There's a separate video about the changes that are being made at the at the Hill, and you can see over the noise of the traffic, you can see that the extension is clogging on a pace as well. And down this down this right hand side here, they've got the steel work up for the cladding externally. But that's on a separate video, so make sure that you've subscribed and you've hit that little bell for notifications and then you'll get an alert when it's uploaded. That's a rather large poppy for Remembrance Day at the Grand Theatre and these two lads have got some paint on, painting all that. Although now we get out of the sun, you can see where they've been, that looks much better. We're ridiculously excited, me and my group of friends, because we're off to see Panto this year. And you might remember that the box office used to be just inside here. And along with painting the, along with painting the front uh, facade, you're doing, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so now the box office is here. So of course you can buy all your tickets online and you can also pop into the box office. It's Monday morning as I'm filming this and I don't think, yes, it's closed. It's closed on a Monday morning. So get your tickets for Panto. 
da, 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 da. so this is this is the one that a group of people who are old enough to know better are really looking forward to coming and seeing so if you're going to panto this year let us know let us know which one you're going to and pop a comment underneath and tell us if you're going to the grand as well anyway a bit more news we're we're, we're loaded up with news this week marks and spencer an institution of the British High Street. It's been, it's been here since, well, since Adam was a lad. Fine purveyors of ladies wear, men's wear, knickers, bras and socks. And when the information was released about the um, Debenham store, that's nice, I like that black dress. When De the news was released about the, the Debenham store, Blackpool Council have also released the information that they've actually purchased the Marks and Spencers shop. So they've, they've, they've bought the they've bought the, the plot and they will become the landlord to Marks and Spencers who will continue to trade. So that's another another block in the redevelopment of the town centre. It's all exciting stuff. The problem is, you see, when everything's in private ownership, you've got to rely on people doing something with their privately owned land, and that's when you end up with that kind of thing and that kind of thing. Because until it becomes dangerous and prone to collapse, there's not really a lot that councils can do about it when people, when, when landlords leave it in ISO. But the big advantage of Blackpool Council owning stuff is that they can control what happens to it. So it's quite a good plan, really. While we're on the subject of box offices, there's another one just up here, the Winter Gardens box office. So in these days of doing everything online, if you're not keen on doing everything online, you can, you can come and do it in person in Blackpool still. So the, the Winter Gardens box office is just at the left of this main door here. And their Christmas show this year is Elf. So it's not a panto, it's Elf. And here's, here's um, Blackpool's Christmas tree. Currently it looks like a carrot. <laughs> it looks like a carrot without the orange bit at the bottom. This is the Christmas tree going up in advance of Christmas in Blackpool beginning on Friday. That looks like a huge, it looks like a huge jigsaw puzzle of branches. Frankly, I don't think I'd particularly want to be doing that. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. How lovely are your branches? Now we're going to go and have a nose at Tabington Street Market. Oh, look, they've got the name on. That looks posh, it looks just like it does on the picture. Don't that look nice? And they've painted all this back wall as well. Wow, windows. That has changed since I last came up here. Goodness gracious me, let's have a look and see if we can see through this gap. I'm, a, I'm an expert in, in looking through gaps, aren't I? Hmm, can't really see. Oh, lights inside. There's lights inside. Let's, let's, let's shuft it along. Oh, a little bit further. Is that a bigger gap? Can we see a bit more through that one? Oh, it's like how many wires, mate? Five, isn't it? Just a second and I'll take the, I'll take the camera off the tripod and then we'll be able to have a look through the crack. Still no announcement about when it's opening, though. Persistence pays off. I walk down the, the full length of the boards and I've balanced the camera on top of the fence. So you can just see what they're doing inside. There's still a lot of um, work going off, but they've got the lights up and it looks like it's all starting to come together. Exciting. Just did that in the nick of time. I've just had the site foreman <laughs> telling me not to take photos. I don't know why they're so precious about not having update photos when they're doing a project because I think 
most people will be flabbergasted to see before and after. I think most people are like me and most people want to see the progress because it makes it it makes it more real what they've actually done and, and how much work's gone into it and how much money and effort and time. So I think they're missing a trick. So we're on our way down Edward Street now, which you will notice is looking rather handsome, as you might say, as I might say. Other people may say handsome. And all these shops look just absolutely the part, don't they? Don't they look nice? And when you turn around and look back, it looks really lovely. It's a beautiful street and there's no reason why it shouldn't look tickety bow. And we are going to have a look at, round the corner, at the King Street and Talbot Road stuff. Because it's a while since I've been up here. In fact, last time I came up here, you see this is the before, I'll just turn around. This is before. this and then Edward Street is after quite a marked difference I think you'll agree yeah so it's a few weeks since I came up here and last time I came up to King Street there was still a big pile of rubble where they demolished all those all those houses everywhere you go in Blackpool there's the sound of heavy electrical tools like jack Jack drills in, <laughs> drilling, in. <laughs> all kinds of different stuff. My favourite fishery, still at the top of my list. Still at the top of my list. I've yet to find anywhere in Blackpool that beats it. Talbot Road car park's a top tip. This is Talbot Road car park, what used to be the old bus station. And you can quite often get a space in there when everything else is full. So that's worth remembering, that one. So they look like they've... They look like they've knocked about quite fast here. They've got it all flat and cleared and tidy. This is going to be the new antisocial shop. When I say anti-social, I don't mean A-N-T-I social, I mean A-U-N-T-Y. This one. It's an amazing building from the front. It's really good. It's going to be fab, that. This has had a tidy up as well at the back. The Ristorante and Bootleg Social. Let's go and see what they're doing at the hop. This is going to be the site for a whopping great big DWP office block. It's not much happened, is there? Not much happened. We've not missed much around here. We'll go and see what's happening at um, Holiday Inn, because I bet that looks like before and after. We'll go via, via the hop. I'll not start singing. <laughs> that won't be good, would it? It's beautiful, this building. I'm so pleased that they've restored it and made it, made it retain its former glory. Oh, they've got the fence down. Doesn't that look nice? Let's go over here. Let's go over here. And they've, they've, even, they've even taken the weeds up. Every time I've come round here, I've looked at the weeds under this bench and thought, please, somebody pull them weeds up. And they've even done it. I bet they're new. I bet they were tuned in. That looks a Bobby Dazzler. Shame the sun's not on the front of it to take a nice picture. Just as an aside while we're here, Clayton's Jewellers. Apparently have been their donkey's years since Adam was a lad and they've just opened, well, they're in the process of opening a new shop in the great metropolis of Cleve Valleys. So you might want to pop in there while you're in Cleveland. And this, of course, is the Holiday Inn. So we'll just do you a quick tantalizer 
of the Holiday Inn. There's a separate update video about this, so make sure that you're getting those notifications and then you'll get the little, the little alert when that one's uploaded and goes live on site. But we're going to go and take a walk around and we're going to have a good look at that. So you'll get that in the in the other in the other video. Hey, it's all happening. I told you that Christmas has arrived in Blackpool, and there's all kinds of stuff happening on the promenade. Look, the star flyers arrived. And last time we were on the prom in a really windy, cold, horrible day. They were just starting to put scaffolding up at what's going to be the new Golden Mile amusements. And you can see that they're well, un well underway with that, so they're obviously going to work at the back of the tent. So we're going to do a separate video about Christmas in Blackpool because it begins, as I've said about 14 times already, on Friday the 18th of November. And there's all kinds of things happening, so you need to make sure you're getting your notifications and then you'll know when we've uploaded that new video. Park for a Pound is also back in Blackpool as well at Christmas, so that starts on the 18th of November too. So it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be brilliant. All we need, all we need is weather like this right through every day until the 2nd of January. What do you think the chances are? Illuminations are shining until the 2nd of January. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff to see and do. Shows, Viva across the road, look. What a lovely day. Do you know, I came out this morning expecting it to be quite cool and I am really warm. So make sure that you've signed up and you've got all your, your notifications and then you'll know when we, we share all this good stuff with you. Anyway, what's happening at Christmas in Blackpool might be the subject of a different video, but I just had to come and show you the six beasts in place. So we've got all six pieces of Odyssey, backlit by a beautiful Blackpool sunshine morning. And they appear to have got a hole in their head. <laughs> And I presume that's where the projection show comes from. So they're all, they're all in place. They're being twiddled and fiddled and finished off as we speak. These on this side look like they've had their, they've had their lights done look. They've all got the canopy over the top. So it's all cracking on a pace. It's all cracking on a pace. We shall definitely be coming back and having a look at what else is happening. You see all the illuminations over the promenade look. And of course, last week as well, we also had the announcement about the extra funding for Lightpool, which is the October half term festival of light in Blackpool. So that's got three years funding to enable organizers to develop the program and to do bigger, better, brighter, bolder. So that's good stuff. It's all happening in Blackpool. It's all happening in Blackpool. And then of course, where's it gone? Where's it gone? I've lost it. On the back corner of this building is the old Sports Direct. That's right, isn't it? Have I got the right one? I'm sure it's on the back corner of that. It's the old Sports Direct, which of course will be moving into the new Fraser's Group, which is opening in the Highlands Hill Shopping Centre in due course after refurbishment. And that was last week's big announcement as well. Oh, and not to forget the 40 million that's been confirmed for the relocation of the courts, but that's also another that's also another video. We shall be taking a walk around. It's like one big game of chess is Blackpool at the moment. It's all exciting stuff. So if you want to know all about all these different things that are coming up and, and taking place at the moment, then don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed. Make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications. Lots, 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 lots to tell you, and lots to share. Um, and if you're getting notifications, you'll know when we upload new content. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.